welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. I have been a professional freelance makeup artist for six plus years and today I'm going to share with you all of my best tips and tricks on how to apply false lashes on yourself. The lash style I'm going to be using today is from Kiss Lashes, which you can just get at the drugstore, and the style is called Well Blended, and there might be a little bit of sticky residue left on the band that holds it in the case, so I just pick that away. See how there's that tiny little tab on the corner? You want to cut that off of the inner corner before we do anything else. So most of the time when you open a new pair of lashes, the lash band of the lashes is going to be wider than your natural lash band. See how if I were to try and put this on, there's like all this extra hanging off at the corner. So we need to trim these to fit our eyes. So the way to do that is go ahead and just place it there, line it up with where you want it in the inner corner. You don't want it too far over because then that's going to really bother you and irritate you on the inner corner. So you want it kind of maybe about there for a full strip lash. And then just take a look at how much we're going to need to cut off. And it's better to err on the side of cutting a little bit off because you can always cut off more. So I'm going to start with cutting off these two little clusters. And now I'm going to measure that again. And I feel great about that length, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other lash. So again, first in the inner corner, I'm just trimming off that little tab, that little excess plastic. And then I'm going to trim off two clusters on this side. And I'm just going to make sure that that looks like a good fit on this side. The lash glue I'm going to be using is by the brand House of Lashes, but you can use any lash glue that you like. And my trick for applying lashes is to actually apply glue to the band of the false lashes as well as to your natural lash line. I will show you how. It creates a double bond and those lashes will stay in place so well for you. So what I'm going to do is first apply it on the lash. And I am just going to apply it on the outer corner, the inner corner, and the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply it along the entirety of my natural lash line. You don't need very much. You kind of want to use less is more when it comes to the lash glue. And the goal is to apply the glue as close to your lash line, like where the lashes are growing as you can without applying it on the actual lashes. That's the goal. Now we're going to wait about 20 or 30 seconds to let that glue get tacky. That is so important. Do not skip that step. That is like the number one issue that people have when applying their own lashes is not waiting for the glue to get tacky because then you're working with wet, slippery, slick glue instead of tacky, sticky glue that will hold the lashes in place. So it just depends on the lash glue, but this one I find needs about 20 or 30 seconds. And then I really like to apply lashes on myself with a little lash tool. Some people just prefer their fingers, and I used just my fingers for a long time, but I'm definitely converted to these. You can get them anywhere, dollar store, Walmart, whatever. And we're gonna grab the lash and kind of give it a little wiggle like this just to get that band nice and flexible to apply to our eyes. I have it in the lash applicator like this. Now, this part is really important too. Get a mirror. I'm just using a little mirror in this compact. You can use whatever type of handheld mirror. And you're gonna place it literally under your face like not even tilted up a little bit, literally under. And you're gonna look down into that mirror and that's where you wanna be looking when you apply the lash, like this. So I like to first apply it to the center and then come in and push it on the inner corner and the outer corner and then lift away and then go in with my fingers and make sure that those inner and outer corners are really secure. 
And you're really, it's going to feel like you're on this race against time to get them applied before the glue dries. But honestly, it takes a really long time, in my experience, for the glue to fully dry out and not be sticky anymore and like not be usable. So you really have a good amount of time to work with the lash and get it just how you want. Um, you don't need to really feel rushed and panicked. It also helps to pinch your natural lashes and the false lashes together just to make sure that there's not that gap in between. Attach it in the center and the inner and outer corners. And by the way, if you can see the glue, it's gonna dry clear as it gets completely dry, but you might be able to see it a little bit right now. So a couple of notes, something that really helps a lot, especially if you're a beginner, is wearing just a little bit of eyeliner. That way it offers kind of a little buffer to camouflage if you have any gaps between the lashes and your real lashes. So I'm just wearing a little bit of eyeliner. I just like to wear actually like a brown eyeshadow um, as an eyeliner that I use with just a little angled brush. So that's a little tip. And then I wanted to just explain a little bit more about why you look down into the mirror instead of closing your eye and then applying the lash. When you close your eye, look at my eyelids when I'm looking down versus when I'm closing my eyes. See how when I close my eyes, it kind of like scrunches up my eyelids a little bit and it changes my lash line. We don't want that. That's gonna make it really hard to apply the lashes. Plus then you can't see out of one eye and you might like glue your eye shut a little bit or even just like get some of the glue on your lower lashes. It gets messy. So that's why I really, really recommend looking down into a mirror, then you can actually see what you're doing really well and you're not changing the shape of your lash line and your eyelids by closing your eyes. How to remove the lashes at the end of the day when you're done wearing them, super easy and painless. You literally just grab the corner of your lashes and pull them off. They shouldn't hurt. If they do hurt, that means that you're probably gluing the lashes like to your natural eyelashes. It's okay if some glue gets on your natural eyelashes, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but if it's hurting, that probably means you're getting like a lot of glue on your natural lashes. Um, but yeah, you just pull them off and you can reuse lashes. Some lashes are really marketed as being able to reuse, you know, 20 or 30 times or whatever. But the truth is you can reuse any pair of lashes I've reused like Kiss or Ardell lashes from the drugstore 20 or 30 times each, as long as you just, um, you know, gently pick off the remaining glue on them to keep them looking clean and you can totally get tons of use out of lashes. Another thing I want to point out is that it's definitely going to take some practice, so be patient with yourself. If you feel like the first time trying it is so tricky and so frustrating, that is so normal. That's how it is for everyone who first starts trying to wear lashes, but just keep practicing and you will get the hang of it, I promise. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if it did give you any helpful tips, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.